despite the pandemic. With travel restricted in place to slow the COVID of 19. It's day two of the latest round of games. Uh, mainly in Bennington County right now, starting to move in here. Ooh. And we are looking at, excuse us for that. The man caught here who just wanted a packet of cigarettes. You can imagine now he has a pack of cigar regrets. And Greenwich Park is one of the oldest enclosed of the Royal Parks. And look at it. Fabulous, the sun is beating down. We've seen lots of doggers, lots of, not doggers of course, lots of dog walkers and joggers. If you take city transit, you may have to wear a face mask this fall. Janella Hamilton, Janella Hamilton, sorry, is live from the newsroom with more on this. Thank you, Janella. Janella Hamilton reporting live for us this morning. Three, two, one. <laughs> Stop it. The explosion of wildfires here locally, plus... No! No, I'm meteorologist Alex O'Brien, News 5. No. Starting today, only three Minneapolis beaches... <laughs> Why? But what we found was a lot of states don't even have good regimens to keep the data to make sure that, um, I'm sorry, I <laughs> the bird just landed on his head. It's okay, it's okay. Sorry, <laughs> I'll get over. it. I'll uh, get it. All right, this weather, like feeling just a little bit like fall. I mean, yesterday, kind of crisp. So for a bike ride by Appleton, I had pants on. <laughs> <laughs> Shorts, <laughs> you know where I'm going with that. Jeans, yeah, long pant. I'm gonna move on. Hey, welcome back to AMX Ray. It is seven Thursday on this Monday morning. I'm Elise Haas. Monday morning. Oh it's my god. Thursday. Gosh. It is Thursday. Girl, don't make it Monday. I've done this before when I said it was a Friday, and then Ken and Jenny be like, Elise. And it's Wednesday, and I was like, oh, I thought it was Tuesday. I just can't keep it oh, straight. Oh, Elise, it is Friday Eve in this house right now. <laughs> We're not going back to Monday, you guys. <laughs> And we'll tell you how you can help kids get ready for the school year coming up next. <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, look at this. Uh, we got some 70s over at the coastline. Uh, and also looking at a lot of hot weather. Look at Death Valley, 122 to 123. This is high. <laughs> Hello. Oh, yeah. I can see you, Suzanne. <laughs> I know. Timing and exactly. I'm like, not Kim Murphy, that's Suzanne. Mm -hmm. Hello. Just get like a spin a oh. wheel and just bring up the camera. Right. I'm like, I look good this morning. Oh, that's not me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. We'll send it back to you. Eric, thank you for thank you, Eric, very much. I know. It's just like you hear scrambling, <laughs> stuff knocking over. <laughs> I know, this is me. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> it's amazing. My, you know, I'm only like 10 feet away and I still get lost. <laughs> it's, just, it's crazy. So guys, who are your favorite uh, Mario Party characters? Uh, I, think, I think Yoshi. I'm going to go with Yoshi. He can eat people and stuff like that. <laughs> You know, I did hear you do a really good Yoshi impersonation. You know, I'll, I'll save that for after the show, my impersonation of Yoshi, I don't think. Come on. <laughs> All right, David, what's weather going to look like for the rest of the weekend here in Coda Territory? I'm willing to give up weather for Brandon to do the Yoshi no. thing. <laughs> okay, perfect. Okay, thank you. So we have sunny skies tomorrow. We're 94 degrees for a high temperature. Thanks for tuning in. And we'll so you got everyone. You <laughs> not yet. Wait. You are not using your listening skills. Try to sequence from that shaping shape. Just gonna like, raise it up just a little bit. Right now? Yeah. <laughs> oh! 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 Regardless how the next person feel, 
I'm not gonna take my flag down. If I got anything to do with it, ain't no monument gonna come down. My whole family's white. Went to all white school, grew up in all white neighborhood. My grandfather was white and he was the main one that fought in this war here. And he's taught me everything I know. They may make my blood boil if they just come up here and feel like they can just tear it down. I don't see me still living if they do that right there. That monument ain't hurting nobody. That monument ain't killing my soul. It ain't talking bad to nobody. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't even racist. Meteorologist Johnny Wagstaff joins us now for a look at the forecast. Joe, I love that you're also wearing red. Sunny well, long yellow, weekend, yeah. You know, oh, did we're I say red? Yellow. You know what? It's been exactly. one of those. I'm still <laughs> long weekend mode. Thanks for that. I love how you're wearing yellow. I had a great long weekend. I hope you did too. <laughs> I also had a great long weekend. And I also think great minds channeling, you know, the uh, yellow end of the spectrum. I knew what you meant. Red is in the same uh, spectrum as uh, yellow. So you were really ahead of the game there. But you have to beat the summer heat somehow. But I'm sure you guys have never seen something quite like this. Meet Mr. Mayhem, the paddle boarding goat. Isn't he a cutie? He likes to get out and do activities with his owner, Alyssa Kelly, a Boise resident who thought it would be fun activity to try with her adventurous goat. Mr. Mayhem is five years old. He's a Nigerian dwarf pygmy goat cross, and he not only paddle <laughs> We love those goggles. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop laughing, but also enjoys hiking and riding in the car. Now, he's only taken two tumbles into the water since his career. <laughs> Bear with me, guys, but he's, he's better at this than I could ever do. He wears a life jacket and goggles, <laughs> you guys. He just has three questions he typed out that I'm supposed to answer, and I don't... I'm hoping he's going to edit this together. Should I introduce myself? Ah. Um, I feel like I need to count myself down. Three, two, one. <laughs> Gosh, wait. Oh my God, let me try that again. Three, two, one. <laughs> okay, this is... What? Cut. I'm sorry, Matt. This is a lot of pressure. We're going to get it this time. Journalism is important in 2020. Wait, let me try one more time. Ah! The importance of workshops in 2020. Was that okay? <clears throat> Wow, the importance of being strong on digital. Digital era, and so, oh my God, Matt, I'm so sorry that you have to go through all this. This thing called the internet. Well, the, re bleh, the old people, you gotta figure out the Twitter. <laughs> See, we call that a wrap. <laughs> yeah, it, it is what it is. <laughs> Hello, I'm a professional talker. <laughs> All right, we're getting close to a record that we do not want to break, and that is the magical 110 degree number. We've seen so far this summer a 100. Uh, oh, with, I think someone spilled soda on this clicker. Is April? Where is April? Is she here? Did you spill soda on this? Might have been beer. <laughs> Maybe it's know. beer Might after this summer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so far we've seen 32 uh, days of 110 or higher. The average is 19. We obviously went past that. And now we're keeping an eye on this record from 2011. 33 days. That's more than a month of 110 degrees or higher. We could do it today, but probably this weekend we are going to break that record. Okay, now the button has fallen off. No. It literally fell off. 2020, Ian. <laughs> 2020. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Gina, you're gonna. She's gonna do like a puppet. She's gonna marionette this thing. Sounds like. All right. <laughs> <laughs> 43 and flat. <laughs> Just do it all over. 70 in Sedona. 51 in Pine Top. Hit it, Gina. All right, there you go. One more time. Two points are down. We have seen uh, two points are about down 20 degrees. So it's not as humid this morning as it was yesterday morning, 85 degrees. As we move along here, we have dry air that is pushed in from the west. And let's uh, keep this thing moving. Uh, dew points are not as high as we'd like to see them. I like the magic sound effect. <laughs> really dry air on the west side of the state as we keep things going. We're going to see chances for storms there in eastern Arizona and southeastern Arizona, but nothing for the valley. High pressure is going to start to reestablish and strengthen as we get going into the weekend, and that means no rain for us and hotter weather. As far as highs today go, 109 today in Phoenix, 94 in Sedona, 81 in Flagstaff, uh, seven-day forecast, 109 
109 today, 109 tomorrow, 110 on Saturday. <laughs> 111 on Sunday. I think the heat maybe melted the button off. I've never had a, a, a clicker disintegrate uh -oh. like this on me. So Boy, uh, uh, go that's the, it. You, we can't go get, buy you anything nice. No, I'm going to go get the glue gun and uh, piece this piece this back together. <laughs> and piece this way. Peace. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Should I shut it off? Like well, good morning, everyone. We have been uh, on this show for a quarter of a century. Oh, and you're I, right. Wait, I've got to hold up oh, this, this is, mic. Oh, we, we have to share a mic. We, this is the first time I think this has ever happened. We've yeah. lost audio before right. temporarily, but we are uh, experiencing an incredible meltdown of audio and video, and we're sharing a microphone. <laughs> So, how have you been? I've been pretty good. I had a couple of days off. Uh, I did actually, you? Uh, did you? Wait, we didn't. You didn't call me. No, I did. Oh, was I supposed to call you? I thought you were going to call me. Well, I thought you mentioned something about a barbecue, but I mean, uh, I, I never next, got time. To it. next time. Next time. Next time. Next time. Yeah. So, uh, everyone, everything else is good, Larry. Or? Just when you think, you I mean Paul has Paul Conrad has gone from working to having twelve weeks of vacation to working out of his house to not having to do anything. Right. This is a dream come true for him. I right. wish we could tap, maybe we could get a phoner with him. <laughs> I see an engineer with some engineer. duct tape. I think we're almost I, I there. We're, the flurry of activity going on around here, I feel terrible because they're in the control room. I have, I, I don't know what, have you ever, how long have we been here, Larry? 24 years? 20, I've yeah, never had it where here. we had video and audio go out, Yeah. right? I saw engineer John Opet, who is one of the nicest guys in the world, actually frowning. <laughs> so you know, it's so bad. Is what we're doing right now I going think, over? I the think air? this is on the intertube. So this is on the air. Still higher ratings than Channel Seven. See if we had video three-quarter inch videotapes, we wouldn't be having hey, this problem. The ME committee's on the phone. They want to talk to you. <laughs> Oh, we've got oh. the microphones, but they don't work. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks hey, good. Is the other end plugged in? It looks yeah. good. Hold on. Yeah. 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 I hate to rush all of you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, some people on the web are saying, why aren't we wearing masks? This happened. Larry, I haven't talked to you in about a week, a couple of weeks, but... I find I still really have nothing to say to you. <laughs> it doesn't stop you from talking. I know. If you're just tuning in, our video, our... our, our My mask just broke. I don't understand how they're seeing it. This is the only camera that works. Even your mask can <laughs> My mask. But none of the video... The mask what, malfunction. Howard, they're seeing us just on this camera, but they can't... None of the other cameras work. None of the other video works. Honestly, the fact that you're all rolling with this is why WGN is the GOAT. Greatest <laughs> of all time. In this has got to be number one. In the year 2020, we have no chance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> this, this is peak 2020, is it, it not? Is. I mean, it kind of is. One thing on after now. the next. That's right. That's right. <laughs> well, you know, let's remember... Larry, I see an easel over there, and if I am not Ooh. mistaken, you are very good at drawing. Yeah, Artist Gilmore on a horse. Uh, on a horse. Because I draw horses well we, and Artist Gilmore well. But now he's, I'm hearing a standby. Does that mean we might have another camera? You know, this is when we would really like to use Paul Conrad's sock puppet theater. Well, right. Paul Conrad just uh, chimed in on Twitter here. Yeah. He said, I woke up for this, heading back to bed. Call me when you need me. Call him when. He's going back to bed. You know, who needs the news? The news in 2020 hey. is just really a bit overwhelming anyway, right, Lair? Yeah. So we got Paul Conrad on the phone right now. Yeah. Paul, what's going on? I'm just calling to say that you guys are doing a great job. Uh, it looks like everything's under control. <laughs> hey, it's great to see you. I've missed you as well. We and can't even just... find tape that works. But this time we lost everything, and then we figured out this one camera works out here, so... We all kind of came out here, and now I don't know what's going on. I will admit my artist it's Gilmore that. looks a little bit like Abe Lincoln. Yeah, let's see. But both, both are great men. It's yeah. nice that some things never change. Yeah. There's comfort in that. To do some cheers? <laughs> what was the go-to cheer in 1980? Oh, uh, go on. I can't. You know two. what? I can't remember. I gotta. I gotta. I can't process it anymore. So, uh, we are back. Obviously, the first 15 minutes of this show, we had no signal. We were in the newsroom, and now it looks like we have all of our news queued up and ready so, to go. Nice job for the engineering team. And I team. think Paul. Yes, I think Paul. 
kind of tapped out. <laughs> so Morgan. You went back to bed. <laughs> Morgan is standing by to do the weather.